so hello in this video we are going to see uh, some arithmetic operators and uh, if we have time later we will see if else conditions in Cartman as well so we have a main function here uh, let me declare two, uh, declare two variables first well x which will have the value of 10 and another will be val y which will have value of 5 so now suppose i want to add these two values and print it i would uh, print value of uh, uh, summation of these two variables so let me take another variable well c equals to x plus y and then i will print c inside print statement so let's run our program and we will have 15 as an output because we are storing x plus y which is 10 plus 5 equals to 15 in c and we are printing c so the value of c will be printed which is 15 so let's see Uh, well, it's taking a bit of uh, time, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, the period is successful. Now it should print the value anytime. So we have 15 in our console. So we are taking a variable to print the value, but instead, what we can also write x plus y inside the print statement as well so we don't need another variable to take place in our memory right so if we run our program the output will be the same if it's which is 15. now suppose i want uh, to print with uh, the values inside strings like this uh, the addition value is x plus y whatever the value of x plus y is so in the last video we saw if we want to use a variable inside a string if you want to uh, put variables value whichever value which a variable is having we want to use that value inside a string we, we have to use a dollar sign right but in this case we put dollar in front of x the uh, the value will be uh, the value of x will be considered here but not the value of y and plus so in order to uh, take the whole x plus y uh, and consider the whole thing as a uh, you know parameter kind of thing in not parameter uh, uh, you know value of uh, variables if we want to access uh, the value of both variables we have to uh, use dollar sign with curly braces so now uh, the value of uh, x plus y will be printed alongside this string so let's run our program and see how it works uh, it should print the value uh, the addition value is 15 uh, just like this right so the same way we can uh, do minus operation multiplication and division as well so i'm not gonna do all of that because there will be uh, basic mathematics that i don't want you to uh, learn from me I suppose you have already knowledge of that so let's skip that part and now let's uh, we have a time so let's see if else statement in Kotlin's uh, though so that's right if x is greater than y this is the structure of if else statement we write if and then in braces we write the condition and if the condition matches we want to print uh, some value some uh, some message uh, um, here we are just going to print the value of x if x uh, has the value which is greater than the value of y then we will print y and if it's not the case so we will put the else block here and if it's not the case uh, we will print the value of y so mm, uh, if we run our program here the value of x is greater than y so this condition is me uh, is met so this print will be executed so let's run our program and we should see uh, 10 printed on our console uh, which is the case here right so 
now suppose uh, let, let me reduce uh, the value of x and uh, make it 2 which is less than y so this condition is not met so else block will be executed and y's value will be printed which is 5 right so now suppose x and y both have the value of 5 which is similar and now let's run our program and see what happens 5 is printed but we don't know uh, both x and y both have a value of 5 right but we don't know uh, this uh, which of this block got executed is that 5 in the console for x or y we don't know that so we uh, we can uh, use nested f else if conditions like this else if x has a similar value of y just print the message that x and y are same value and if uh, x has uh, the greater value this this block this print will be executed if uh, both have the similar value this print will be executed and if uh, this neither the case this block will be executed where we will print the value of y right so let's run our program and see uh, if we get x and y are same in our console here it is x and y are same but now we uh, suppose we don't want to use a if statement so we can uh, also give this condition right here if x is greater than or equal to y which is the case both are same so this condition is uh, uh, you know this condition is uh, fulfilled so this block will be executed so we can use uh, this uh, comparison operator as well so this is how you use if else statement nested if else statement in kotlin and uh, we have also seen the arithmetic operations, arithmetic operators in Kotlin and how to use them as well. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll see other topics in Kotlin as well. So until then, bye-bye and stay safe.